Hey guys, how you doing? Ray here again. If you'd like to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyosho. Remember to follow me on Facebook. The community page, Nitro Kyosho, all one word will bring you there. Uh, well guys, I wanted a storage shelf uh, for my garage. I do part-time professional detailing on the side and it was really getting to be a pain to be running up and down from the cellar. Now we're here in New England so a lot of the liquids and the waxes and the stuff you have to store away in the winter anyways it can't stay out here but some of the stuff can and it just saves a little bit of space but I was tired of running up and down the cellar stairs here to get all my supplies so I figured I wanted to get something that wasn't too big and too bulky I didn't want anything that was metal. I didn't want to spend three, four hundred dollars on some big hulking metal cabinet. I just wanted to get something that would fill, fulfill my needs uh, and something that was predominantly plastic and I wouldn't have to worry about rotting and rusting and molding and all that. And really, realistically, if you wanted to get rid of it, you just pull it apart and throw it in the garbage and you're done. <laughs> you don't have a big 300 pound cabinet to be moving around. So anyways, this came from uh, Walmart. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them in other places. This is the Sterilite four shelf cabinet. Uh, it's 69 and 3 8 inch. It says high. Uh, it's about 18 7 8 inch deep and 25 and 5 8 uh, wide. Uh, it takes about 15 minutes to put together. Uh, the only problem that I had, and I'll show you on here, uh, which one gave me a hard time uh, was this here the J connector did not want to fit in and it was the right one it you can put them in either way and it just did not want to go in and it actually cracked the plastic a little bit on the inside kind of pissed about that uh, but no big deal really it's just a, a cheap cabinet you're gonna put stuff in anyways and it's not uh, going in a museum uh, but that was unfortunate and I was very gentle with it guys and very easy assembling it but it must have been a little bit oversized this piece and just was given a real uh, tough time wanting to go in and I was doing it by hand I wasn't using a rubber mallet or a hammer or anything like that but other than that piece it was pretty simple to put together and pretty quick and uh, let me open the doors here and uh, has little stoppers here on the doors and you can adjust the shelves uh, the nice thing, no screwdrivers, no hammers, no nothing to put this together. I just have some of my supplies out here for now. Uh, once the spring rolls around, I'll bring out all the soaps and the liquids and the waxes and the buffer and all the other equipment that I have. Uh, but uh, fits two five-gallon buckets down in the bottom there nicely. And uh, you can put these shelves any which way you want them. Uh, it's got the little hangers inside there and they're all over the place and that was the only place in the back there where you see a little bit of the stress where it gave me a hard time and cracked a little bit uh, but other than that they say the shelves can hold 40 pounds I'm not really gonna have 40 pounds on these shelves so I don't have to really worry about that but all in all uh, I'd give it two thumbs up. It's a nice cabinet. It really uh, uh, fulfills my needs and I can get all of my stuff that I need to get in there. So when I'm working on cars and in the space here, uh, it's going to make life a lot easier. And then I'll probably going to, I'm going to probably look around too for a little roller cart to put some stuff on to move it around the, the cars when I'm working on them. But other than that, these are, depending where you buy them, I got this at Walmart, it was around $84. So, uh, and it's a light box, you can throw it in your trunk or your back seat. But, uh, yeah, I mean, there it is, the Sterilite cabinet. And, uh, you know, like I said, it's, it's easy to move around if you want to move it. And uh, it's, uh, 
you know, easy to dispose of. If you want to get rid of it in a few years and you just want to junk it, you can just pull it apart and throw it in the garbage can or you can sell it or do whatever you want with it. But uh, anyways, give you a back shot here of it. And uh, it's going to fulfill my needs. And uh, if you need something like this, I would, uh, other than that piece giving me a rough time uh, to put together, I'd give it two thumbs up. And uh, my advice, if you do get one and you do have that problem and it doesn't want to go, I would take a little bit of uh, maybe some sandpaper or something and kind of uh, sand the plastic down a little or put some something on it, slippery, some soap or something to try to make it go in easier. But mine was just, it was you could clearly see it was uh, oversized for the piece that it was going, you know, trying to fit into. So there you go, guys, Sterilite cabinet. Thanks for watching.